welcome to my channel and welcome to my new float or horse trailer if you're in the US. We'll start on the outside. So it's got this whiz bang, it's like industrial size jockey wheel. Now it did have a little tack box on the outside but I've had it removed, it just wasn't necessary. So that's where we connect power. And then open up this section. That's where you'll find your power box. And I'll pop all my leads in there. We've got water connection. Spare wheel, tie up points, outside lighting, outside lights. I love these windows. Um, I think they call them American windows, so they open up. They swing down, so you can see, they pop in there, so they won't move, and then that gives plenty of airflow. More we'll tie up points on this side, another light, light over the door, or you could leave it up and just open it, and you've got a fly screen. Great windows, great for airflow. Big door. Now this was an issue with my previous float. It used to, this would rattle open. So they've fixed that issue by adding these, which is great. So the issues that they're facing, they fix. That's nice. It's heavy, but it goes down nice and slow. Now, swing out, swing out tack box. Let's have a look at that. So open that up. Swings right out. What we do. Here. And that keeps it in place. Now, got some good news. Yes, it looks big because it's huge. <laughs> it definitely is huge. And guess what, Western people? It fits. A western saddle in it. Surprise, surprise. So the only issue is these are quite short compared to, as you can see, the saddle. So I'm just going to look at getting one that's extended to support the saddle a little bit better. But it definitely fits. So it comes a nice padding, three hooks inside, two hooks on the door. I'll just back up and give you a further look. So I wasn't actually expecting it to fit the Western saddle. It's a cozy fit, but it fits. Now two bays now they're just standard size but extra height 
and they're adjustable slightly so you can go smaller it's currently in the medium slightly larger all padded and that's the rug rack all enclosed pop-up air vents dividers all padded dividers can be removed a couple tie up points on each this is one of my favorite things because I always forget my pooper scoopers and this door internal lights and we've got storage a little triangular storage compartment very exciting I don't know why that's so exciting but it's exciting <laughs> very exciting for me so now we'll go through to the living so this so that's the door so as you can see it's a double door so you can go in the single small door and that goes into the living area or this new feature the double door that goes rolls out into the horse area and gives you your living area so we've got bunk bed one up the top most importantly the air conditioning <laughs> and cooling um, and heating so both lovely in Victoria we get you know four seasons in one day the bed down the bottom and it I'm five nine and it fits me beautifully we've got storage cupboard up the top so I'll put my kettle in there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Microwave, which could do with an upgrade, to be honest. Extra power point. Fancy sink. So it comes up. So that's your sink. Things for everything, and they've given me extra paint. So if I have any little, little whoopsies, that'll be able to fix it. Freezer remote for the reverse cycle air conditioning. Now, this is just at the moment a shower recess. I didn't put it in, I didn't actually think it was going to be big enough. Um, but surprisingly, it's actually quite large. You can't tell, but it is quite large. So I may actually convert that into a proper shower. The fittings aren't in it at the moment. Um, but that's the inside. Just a some lights. Caravan door, so we've got some fly wire. Get a nice breeze. Now this converts. I'm going to show you. Bear with me. To my table and some seats. So you do rolly, rolly, rolly. And then we go. Make sure the cool right up. Da -da 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 -da. Up we go. Keep going. Show you a nice view while I'm doing that. My car. Are there any horses waiting for their dinner? Yes. <laughs> They're waiting for their dinners. So, there we go. Round and round we go. Keep it out the view while we do it. There we go. All the way up. Pop that back in. Have a nice little table. Oh, 
table and chairs. The ladder comes off, so you can just remove that so it's out of the way. Super comfy. Now I will say the bunk up the top, I would say it's primarily for a child or a petite adult. It's a little bit cozy. Um, but it's obviously the same width, but it's more that it's not high enough. So the room between, let's stick the camera in there, is not huge. And you're literally right on top of the AC unit, which could potentially be not awesome. So that's the tour. And obviously this can be closed up the back with the tack box outside. So you could potentially have this door open and cool or heat the rest of this space as well. So you could put another bed, maybe a sitting area, change area, whatever you want to do. Um, and that's everything. Let me know if you have any questions. So I've only just purchased this, so I haven't had any major issues or anything, but so it's it's brand new. So I can't question, um, can't tell you what I think about as far as use of it yet but the issues that I have had in the past seem to be rectified which is great um, but obviously I'm going to be honest and transparent if I do come across anything that's an issue I will let you guys know and how I fix it because I've had to address a few things in the past with other floats and had to fix things so they work properly. Um, I'll let you know how I go about fixing those things. But hopefully that just doesn't come up. We've just got plenty of lights, which is great. And it's time to feed the horses, so. And she's playing with the fence. I have to go. Cheers, everyone.